What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to do a simple internet speed test in python so let us get right into it all right so this is going to be quite simple it's not going to be a complicated project but we're going to need a library for this so we're going to open up cmd and we're going to do pip install speed test cli which is for a command line which stands for command line uh, now we're going to use this library because we need a speed test provider. We're not just going to do some random stuff and download something. We're going to use a professional speed test provider, but we're going to access this provider using this library via Python. So we're going to install that. In my case, I already have that installed. Um, this is what we're going to need. However, when we import it in Python, we're not going to import speedtest.cli or dash CLI. We're going to say import speed test by the way let me just scale up the uh, font size because for the video you always want a larger font size there you go from 22 to 28 there you go and let me also reposition my camera will real quick here there you go all right so we're going to use the speed test module and in order to perform a speed test we don't need to do a lot we just need to um create a speed test object so we're going to call this test equals speed test dot speed test like that uh, and now we have this speed test object and we can do a download test we can do an upload test we can do uh we, we can evaluate the ping and so on uh, but first of all we want to find some servers and we want to find the best server so what we're going to do first we're going to say test dot get servers get underscore servers this is going to get a list of servers. So let me write that as a comment here. Uh, get list of servers that are available for speed tests. So once we have that, we're going to choose the best server there is. So we're going to say best equals test dot get best server. There you go. And we can also, let me just add a comment here as well, uh, or choose best server. By the way, we're also going to print some messages here. So we're going to say print uh, loading server list, for example, and then print choosing best server. And once we have found the server, we're going to say print and we're going to use an f string found and here now we can also uh, include information about the server so before we write that string let's just go ahead and print best so we're going to see what we get as a result here i'm going to run this and you're going to see that this is a an object that has a lot of information inside of it uh first of all we have a problem it doesn't have speed test oh yeah t here is lowercase come on lowercase t loading server list choosing best server and once it's done we're going to get i think it's a dictionary or a json object whatever it is which is actually the same thing uh, but we can then access the individual fields so in this case it found the best server it has a url which is this one um, then it has coordinates and it has uh, location name Vienna in this case country Austria since I'm located in Austria uh, and a bunch of different other uh, parameters so what we can do is we can go ahead and say okay once we found the best server we're going to print f string found and then we're going to say best and what we want to put in here is the host so the host is this one here in this case and it's going to change every time we run the script probably so found host located in and then we can say oh it's not a string located in and now we can go and say best country there you go so this is just a setup. Now we can go to the actual speed test. Now in order to do a speed test, we just need to run two commands. Uh, the first one is going to be download and the second one is going to be upload. So we're going to say, okay, print 
performing download test. And then we're going to just say download result equals test dot download. There you go. Now we can copy that and we can change download to upload. So we have performing upload test, upload result, test and upload. And once we have that, we can also get the ping result. So we can say ping result equals test dot results dot ping. So that's actually, I think, all we need to do. Now I'm going to print that and you're going to see why we have to format it a little bit more. So I'm going to just print the download result. I'm going to print the upload result, upload result and the ping result. There you go. So if I run this now, you can see again, it's choosing the best server. Then we're going to see, okay, it chose that host in that country. Uh, and then we're going to do the test and then you're going to see the download speed and the upload speed, uh, speed. But the problem is, and I can tell you that right away, we're going to get bits per second. So bit per second is a very large number because usually you measure uh, the download speed and the upload speed, uh, speed in mbit per second, not in bit per second. So now it's performing the tests and we should be done any second. And then we should get the results. Take some time. There you go. So this is the bit per second. This is also bit per second upload speed. And this is the ping. Now this is in milliseconds. So what we need to do now is we need to do some, um, some formatting and we can do that by just using an F string here and we can say, okay, download speed. And then in those curly brackets, we can say download result. And now in order to get mbit from bit, we need to divide by 1024 two times. So uh, what we need to do is we need to say divided by 1024. Now, if you want to have kilobits, um, so k bit, then this is enough. And if you want to have, um, if you want to have m bit, you just do it one more time, like that. And what's also important is that we format the floating point precision. So we can just say, uh, colon dot to F to just focus on two decimal places. Uh, and that should actually be it. All right, so we can copy that. Uh, we don't need that for the ping result, though. So let's, let's just see I'm going to replace download by upload. Upload result, there you go. And here we're just going to say ping and we're going to remove all of this here. And we're going to add MS in the end. And here we're going to add M bit per second. M bit per second. There you go. So that should be it. Let's run this and then we should be done. So again, we're choosing the server list. Now, while this is loading, let's again talk about what we did. We got all the servers. We got the best server. We chose it. We printed the host. We printed the country. Uh, this is, of course, all optional. You don't need to do it. And once we had that, we just called the download function, the upload function. We saved the results. The ping is also saved in the results. Uh, and then we just format it in a way that we get the m bits per second because usually this, this thing here is just bits per second. And you, you're not really interested in those uh, large numbers formatted as bits. As you can see here, download speed, uh, speed is 66.98 Mbit per second, upload speed 15.05. And the ping is uh, the download result. Okay, I'm not going to run this again. But here we would have to say ping result, obviously, then we would get the ping off around 20 milliseconds. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button, leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.